<sighs> All right, um, depression. What does it mean? Uh, I think I know, but then again, it's different for everybody, depending if you have depression or not. But yes, I over the past few years, I think. I, I've been quite miserable. I will say that I'm gonna look, I'm tr I'm gonna try and look at the lens a bit more. Uh, so you know this is serious. I don't want it to you know make it look fake. I guess, but uh, yeah. Uh, depression really affects me, but then again, it's to do with other stuff that's in my life as well, like autism, anxiety, paranoia, afraid of the dark, afraid of being alone, afraid of uh, babies, afraid of um, big roller coasters. I I am slowly getting away this fear, so, and I'm trying my best to get over the a fear of the dark. So you know that's. Maybe six, so you know that's cool. <laughs> that uh, yeah. I'm also unlucky as well, so yeah. <clears throat> like, I'm pretty sure life itself doesn't want to kill me, but I think that it does <laughs> because I'm like, why am I so unlucky? It's so unfair. Why does a guy that looks like a bush? <laughs> it has to be so unlucky. Now here comes a very uh, sad bit. If I wasn't afraid of death. Oh that's another one. <laughs> I have a phobia of death. And I think I'll always have that phobia. Because of two things. One is because if I wasn't. I would probably not be alive and the second one is if I was still alive then depression will you know tear into me I'll do deep self-harming and do like that but since I'm afraid of death I don't really self-harm it's most likely just a whack to the head sometimes a slap to the face you know it's a simple thing when I'm just like Okay, I need to get my brain sorted here. Like, it's not like self-harming. It's just like, yeah, I need to get focused. But, yeah. The first the first one is very sad. And I know a lot of people may go, oh, oh boy. And, yeah, it's very true. I, sometimes my brain likes to, you know, bully me a lot. Well, myself, I love to bully myself a lot. You know, I say I'm worthless, say I'm pointless, say that I'm, you know, what's the point of being alive, you know? Just the simple stuff like that. You know. That's why I took it out on other people, and, you know, I got kicked out of places. <laughs> like, sometimes I couldn't contain it, so I just lashed out, so... Yeah, you know, yeah, <clears throat> I think if I had friends and a relationship, I think it could possibly fix it, but also, uh, I feel like it wouldn't be complete, It'd be like 99% of it, and 1% would be money, and the other percent would be a job, probably, if there is a job that I now, yeah, that pays really good. I would probably work there even if it's a public place. I will not get over my fear of babies, but, you know, I'll, you know, yeah. I wouldn't talk to people, but I'll just do my job and get paid. But, uh, yeah. Oh, boy, sorry. Uh, collecting is a great, a great we call it like uh, 
ah, uh, what do you call it? Fucking, it, it, it's, it's a thing to calm the brain. It, it, collecting is a very nice. I, I love shopping. That's the whole point. But I love collecting Funko Pops over the years has just make me so happy because it's good to have something that you love in your bedroom. But also have a a massive collection of it is really it's really it's really helpful. So if you feel depressed, really depressed, and you don't know what to, f you know. But you know, if you have like money and stuff, then you can just spend it on you know having a collection. See if that works. You know, see if you know something you like doing anyway could help you in a very tough situation I mean de depression doesn't fade away completely but when I do shopping it just fades away for like a day and it comes back to the other day but then again sometimes I'm happy because the recent pops that, I'm, that I have just just like uh, I'm lucky that I got that yeah so yeah I don't know what to talk about now. <laughs> uh, it is really hard to get friends when you have all those problems like paranoia, anxiety, uh, and stuff like that. But not only that, but they're extreme in that category. Like, like I'm not, I'm not afraid about, you no, know, you know, cameras looking at me or stuff like that. I'm not afraid of that type of thing. You know, it's weird, but I'm not creeped out about it. I know it's happening. Uh, I probably been watched right now, right there. No, I don't get a single view sometimes on my videos. But yeah, <sighs> um, it is hard to get yourself out there. Um, uh, in the future, if I get a lot of views and stuff like that, then. I might do a meet up with you for, uh, people if you watch my content I guess you know talk with you guys you know yeah just go to talk about your problems about life on YouTube it's relatable to a lot of people and you know <clears throat> so yeah if if I could I would love to change my clothing every day I went to college and every day I came back from college, you know. Like, if I wore a tuxedo, a top hat and, you know, the whole thing, I, I think I would be more confident because, I don't know, it's just, I don't know what it's, why a suit would give me this type of wave of confidence. I, it's like it's like the Joker. Like when he put on that tuxedo, he became more confident, more you know, you know who went to the point, you know. He even kissed a girl that wasn't actually real. But you now back I mean but in his head she was actually real but you know the times that he was with her was actually in his brain. Spoiler, if you haven't watched it, but, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if I'm eating less. I probably ain't. But I am starting to see some weight lifted off me, but, you know. That's just a normal thing. <laughs> I don't really eat that much anyway, but, you know. Yeah, you'd think that I would eat more because of my stress and all that stuff. Oh yeah, stress is another problem that I have. Really hard. If you were in my shoes, I think you would understand my problems. You probably still won't, but, you know. Yeah. And I know that some people, they go, Oh, what? You, if you were in my shoes, you, you'll understand. And I'm just like, yeah, I probably will. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. 
I, I do love the rain, the, the rain sounds, the breeze, the coldness, I fucking love it. I had shorts on because I just didn't want, like, I didn't want to wear smelly waterproofs because I've been to the farm today at college and stuff, so, yeah. I love the rain. It's just a really nice sound and it feels really nice on my skin. Could be a fetish thing. <laughs> it's not a fetish thing. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't make me horny in any way. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. It's not a fetish. I just like it. Okay. I I, I like it. Okay. But uh, yeah. I mean, I I rarely smile at college. I don't really present myself to be. You know. A happy chap. But when I'm on, you know, YouTube and doing YouTube videos, I'm just like, happy-go-lucky. Yeah, guys. But, you know, I'm more confident when I'm doing videos. and You know, because I feel like I'm talking to myself. So that's why I upload on YouTube. Because I feel like there's a way of talking to myself. But also talking to you guys if you watch it. But, uh, yeah. And much it but i you know i also like to upload gameplays anyway so yeah i'm a gamer that's what gamers normally do anyway so yeah all right guys as always see you, to, see you tomorrow if my uh game doesn't finish uh publishing so yeah. all right goodbye ah